गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन आई एम सुमेधा सचिन दातार फ्रॉम स्टैंडर्ड टेन्थ गुरु गोविंद सिंह पब्लिक स्कूल नाशिक टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू शेअर माय व्ह्यूज ऑन एन्व्हायरमेंट प्रोटेक्शन अँड इंडियन कल्चर सिन्स एन्शंट इयर्स इंडियन्स हॅव स्टूड फॉर नेचर एन्व्हायरमेंट मॅन अँड फॉर द को एक्झिस्टन्स ऑफ ऑल दी वी इन इंडिया बिलीव्ह दॅट द एन्टायर युनिवर्स इज द क्रिएशन ऑफ गॉड अँड एव्हरीथिंग इन दिस युनिवर्स कंटेन्स डिव्हेंटी सो वी वर्शिप अँड रिस्पेक्ट ऑल द लिव्हिंग अँड नॉन लिव्हिंग थिंग्स विच बिकेम द पार्ट ऑफ आर कल्चर even in our ancient vedas the treasures of vast knowledge reveal the consequences and effects of, of environmental degradation ecological imbalances and related subjects that directly indicate the high level of awareness of the people of that time gange cha yamune chaiva godavari saraswati narmade sindhu kaveri jalesmin sanidhi kuru all these seven rivers are considered as sacred and we worship them our ancient rishis wanted us to maintain the ecosystem of our planet by not destructing or exploiting mountains or rivers according to vedas non violence means non injury to both the living and non living creations of nature which is the core of the indian philosophy we show gratitude and respect towards our plants and animals for their contribution in our lives through festivals for example we celebrate nag panchami to show gratitude towards snakes as they kill the animals like rats that damage the food crops one more example is bai pola we celebrate bai pola to show gratitude towards bulls and oxen as they help us in farming through this our ancestors wanted ecological preservation but nowadays due to globalization and change in lifestyle we have stopped celebrating our festivals traditions and customs thinking it as unscientific So if we want our next generation to understand the value of nature and its protection it is our duty and responsibility to safeguard and follow our rich indian heritage and culture thank you